I'm not like that. I want you to focus on your studies. Focus on your dreams for now. I will, Dad. Anytime I see you, I remember your mother. I just wish she was alive to see the beautiful and good girl you have turned into. Ellie, my daughter, please don't disappoint me. Yes, Dad. news that I'm hearing all over the town. Daddy, what news? I heard you've been going out with a guy. Ah, Daddy, don't mind these people. They are just jealous because I'll soon gain admission to the university. You better hope so. You better hope it's not true. What can I do to get your love? I gave you all I got, but Mike, we need to stop seeing each other. Everyone has started talking. My dad even heard about it. He did? So what did you tell him? Of course I denied. What do you want me to say? I told him people are just jealous because I'll soon gain admission to the university. Then everything is settled. Are you sure? Yes, forget about him. He's definitely not going to find out about it. Um, guess what I got for you? Oh, uh, what? Just guessed. <laughs> you know very well that I'm not good at guessing. What can I do to get your love? I gave you all I got, but it's not enough for you. Ah, uh, ah, uh, Helene, what's the problem? You've been shivering and vomiting. Yeah, I have. I think probably it's fever. I'll just take drugs for fever. No, you can't. You don't know what exactly is wrong with you, and you just concluded that you want to take drugs for fever. I need to take you to the hospital. Go and freshen up, okay? Okay, daddy. Doctor, what is wrong with my daughter? What does the test result show? The test result shows that your daughter is two weeks gone. Eh? Doctor? I don't understand what you are saying. I came here because my daughter is sick. What do you mean by two weeks gone? Well, you see your daughter here is two weeks pregnant. Kelly, what have you done? I warned you. You are leaving my house this minute. I warned you about everything, but you did not listen. <laughs> Daddy, please, where do I go from here? You think you can bring shame and disgrace to me? Never! Get out of my house! Ah, I'm finished. Where do I go? Are you asking me? Go and look for the father of that bastard you are carrying. Nonsense. <laughs> Daddy, please, where do I go from here? What are you doing here, Erlin? Don't you know my father is around and you know fully where is an army? Oh, sorry. I just came to tell you something very important. Okay, what is it? Please be fast. I've come to tell you that I'm pregnant, Mike. So why are you telling me? What do you mean by why am I telling you? You are responsible for the child. My dad threw me out of the house when he found out and now I have nowhere to go. I can see you are very stupid. Look, you better go and look for that father of the child you are carrying and not me. I'm not responsible for anything. Ah, oh, please Mike, don't do this to me. I'm not here to go. That's none of my business and if you try anything stupid, I won't hesitate to get rid of you. You know how influential my father is. Hey, hey. 
I'm finished. Honey, you are back. Oh, yes I am. How was work? Work was fine, but stressful. Okay. I prepared dinner for you though. That's nice. I will eat later. Eh, uh -huh. honey, do you remember Jeanette, our former house help? Yes, I do. What about her? I heard she just gave birth to triplets and here we are looking for just one child. Christabe, my dear. You need to stop bothering yourself about this matter. I've told you that God's time is the best. We just have to be patient. Collins, I'm tired. Seriously. Ten good years of marriage and still no child to build or call my own. I'm seriously tired. We will surely have a child and I'm sure of it. But what if you get another woman outside pregnant and then leave me? You know that can never happen, Krista Bear. I love you and I would never ever leave you. Are you sure? Yes, I am. Cheer up, okay? Hmm, okay. Where do I go from here? <laughs> yeah, my life is ruined. <laughs> ah, young girl, what's the problem? Why are you sitting down here? Where are your parents? <laughs> Ma, please help me. <laughs> I'm stranded. I have nowhere to go to. It's okay. Don't worry. I will help you. You are coming with me. Wow. Thank you, Ma. I really appreciate. Every time I sleep, I know I'm still dreaming about you. All alone, my love. Um, honey. I want to talk to you about something. Okay, go on. I'm listening. We need a house help. What? Why do we need a house help? You already do the cooking and the cleaning. I do, but you know I have a job where I go very early in the morning and come back late in the night. We need a house help who can be able to cook and clean while we are away. You know sometimes when I come back from work, I'm always exhausted. Hmm. You have a point though, but how are we going to look for this house help now? It's not everybody you trust nowadays. I know, that's not a problem. Don't worry. <laughs> ah, my sister, how are you? Long time, oh. You can say that again. This one, you came to see me today. I hope no problem. <laughs> no problem, oh. Actually, I need your help. Okay, what is it? I'm looking for a very good house help who can take very good care of this house. Hmm. Okay. That is not a problem. I will look for a house help for you. Wow. Thanks a lot. I really appreciate. It's nothing. Where are your parents? Actually, my mom is dead and my dad lives far away. Hmm. So you mean you have absolutely nowhere else to go? Yes, ma. Okay, don't worry. I will help you. My sister is actually looking for a house help. So, I will take you to her. Ah, oh, madam, you do that for me? Yes, of course. Even if you don't know me? Of course, I don't need to know you before I help you. Thank you, madam. Ah, oh, thank you. <laughs> hey. It's okay. Everything will be fine. So this is the house help. Okay, that's great. So young girl, what is your name? My name is Helen. Okay, where are your parents? Um, actually my mom is dead and my dad lives far away. Hmm, okay. So are you sure you can do this job? Yes ma, I'm sure I need it. Okay, no problem. My sister, thank you very much. It's nothing. Uh, 
Eileen, what is the meaning of this? Why are you sleeping when you're supposed to be preparing food for my husband? Don't you know you'll soon go to work? Sorry, Ma. Sorry for yourself. Come on, go and start to work immediately. Nonsense. 